this is what it looks like today at my place, out my teaching window in the loft. It's gorgeous. So you should have your flute by now, and you're probably really excited to open it. Well, this quick video is going to show you what to do, how to be careful, and how to make sure that you have a properly working flute after you've opened it. Occasionally, I have people too excited and they try to put it together right away and bend it, break it, scratch it, dent it. Oh, the parents are the worst. If you're a child and this is going to be your flute and you're old enough to understand this, then be really careful and don't assume your parents know how to put it together, okay? Well, here I have two different kinds of flute cases. Now, the first one is a zipper case. Now, some flutes come with a zipper case, and all they have to do is unzip it and notice that there's a hard case inside. Remove it, and make sure that you always open your flute on a nice, solid surface so that your flute won't be uh, able to fall. Okay, this has little clips. You just take your thumbs, pull them to the side, use your first fingers to lift the case open, and there it is. This flute has three pieces, one, two, and three. A head joint, a body, and a foot joint, right here, okay? We're going to leave the flute in there for now. Close it, make sure that it's all the way locked and safe. Put it back in the case, in the zipper. Zip it up, make sure it's safe, and set it to the side. Now, this flute right here is the one we're going to open and discover even more. This flute has a bigger case because there's more pieces in it. Now, the most important thing about opening a flute like this is to make sure and not open it upside down. That seems to be the first thing that happens to people is they don't know which way is which. So I'm just going to show you right now that a lot of flute cases will have some sort of a logo on the top or you can put a, a sticker of some sort up there so that you know which way the top is because they do look very similar. The buckles will unbuckle from the bottom and it's very, 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 very important that you never open your flute case upside down. Okay, remember that today. It's going to be your biggest challenge to make sure. This flute has four pieces. One, two, three, and four. This is a curved head for younger children, smaller people. This is the straight head, here's the foot joint, and here's the body. Okay, last piece I didn't show you yet because there wasn't one in the other case is right here. Now this is not a Harry Potter wand or something to stir your soup with. This is a cleaning rod or a tuning rod. We use it for two different things. This will be addressed in another video as will the rest of the flute. Now for now, if you have not ever learned how to do anything on a flute before, please leave everything as is. In module number one, in tone lesson number one, you will learn how to use the head joint properly and you'll learn all the pieces and parts to it. Again, please leave the flute in the case for now. Taking it out and trying to put it together before you've learned will uh, not be a good idea, okay?